So we have n equals 1, 2, 3, and 4. And those are going to be our, um, our n values. And then the terms for each one of these is we could say a sub n equals 3, a sub 2 equals 7, a sub 3 equals 11, a sub 4 equals 15. And now what we want to do is try to determine exactly if we can find the rule for any term, which will say, so what exactly is a sub n going to equal? All right. So in doing this, ladies and gentlemen, it's first always you know, nice to kind of look at, well, how am I going from the number of my term to or so my number to my what the value of the term is? So you could say 1 to 3. You could say, oh, you're adding 2, right? And it's always easiest, I think, to look in the arithmetic way of just saying, what am I adding or subtracting? So you could say, oh, you're adding 2. Well, are you doing that from 2 to 7? No. No, so that's not going to work. Then we could always look into multiplication. But you can automatically see that you remember, this is not going to be a multiplication um, in there. So now we need to start looking at a combination of the two, right? So can we com combine multiplying by a number and then adding or subtracting by another number? And Brandon, did you figure it out yet? If Would you multiply by four and subtract one. Very good. So let's go and check. So once we figured out a rule, you are going to want to at least check a couple terms to make sure that's correct. So if we say 2 times 4, I'm sorry, 1 times 4 minus 1 equals 3. 2 times 4 minus 1 equals 7. 3 times 4 is 12 minus 1 is 11. So yes, very good. So we could say 4n e or a sub n equals 4n minus 1. So again, ladies and gentlemen, these aren't going to come just very simple to you until you get enough practice with this. And the main important thing is just looking at this, I always like to first just kind of look at adding and subtracting then looking at multiply dividing, then look at the combination of them. And then if those don't work, we're going to get into a couple problems where we'll have to go and see um, what are some other possibilities. But for right now, for this basic one, our a sub n equals 4n minus 1. That's it. All right. Yeah. Now you died.